Dear friends, a very good evening to all of you. After a long time, I'm coming uh, on the YouTube again. Around two years, I did not produce any video here. But now, presently, I'm coming. Dear friends, a live. A very good evening to all of you. After a long time, I'm coming uh, on the YouTube again. So now we are going to have our very first class live online. I'll try to make it very interesting. And definitely this is going to help all the class 10 students of CBC to prepare their strong basis. Let me try my best. And I do hope that you all will get a really very good feedback and keep on joining me like my channel that will definitely help okay so today we are going to start with today we are going to start with a very important chapter that is coordinate geometry we're going to start with coordinate geometry for class 10. let me first try to introduce what is coordinate geometry and in this particular chapter what exactly we are going to learn or we are going to understand what are the topics We'll be getting so there is a roadmap i prepared here so in this particular uh, particular chapter we are going to start with these are the topics which we are going to have let me just go briefly before i go to the class so that we will be mentally acquainted so we'll start with the introduction in that introduction we uh, need to see why do we need coordinate geometry What's the need of this? How is this articulated? Who is the pioneer? Who did this? Who started this? Right. This is to be known. Fine. The next, we have to study coordinate plane. Of course, who articulated it, how it is articulated, we'll come to know that. But even then, in uh, detail, we'll go. What is quadrant? Position of a point in a plane, sign convention. Means in quadrants, how the signs are articulated, how the signs are understood, right? This is one thing. And then, distance formula. We'll come to the distance formula. This is the very first uh, topic of this. So distance formula, what is the distance from a point, the of a point from origin? Distance between two different points, and application of this distance formula in collinearity of three points. Of course, we'll be having uh, many more things, including this, but this is a rough topic we are going to start with. Then, next topic is section formula. This is this is uh, found little critical by students, right? There may be some reasons because we actually have two different things, two different uh, parts of the section formula. But as far as class 10 is concerned, we have only internal divisions. But even then, I'm going to cover external division as well, because this is going to help you immensely when you go to the next level. And then we'll uh, go for the midpoint formula. This is not a different things as such. If you know what is internal division, very clearly you can talk about midpoint formula. There is no problem at all just please hold on let me scroll this okay the next topic is area of triangle next topic is area of triangle there is no subtopic involved here so it is area of triangle that means we'll be knowing the vertices of a given triangle and then we'll have to find the area with reference to the coordinate geometry then Application of all what we have learned. This is what we are going to study. Is me kya kya to find the equation of a straight line to the given to two given points. Actually, what happens? This particular question, whenever we pose for class ten, there is a feeling that this question is of class eleven. But actually, we can use the concept of collinearity at class ten also to find this particular or to solve this question. 
So I want to include that so that you can get a little more advanced. Step. Then related questions we will be doing with the above topics. There may be many much uh, many more different topics, with many more questions, and at least previous year's questions. So it is a full package. This is going to help you uh, really preparing all these things, right? So let us start it. Okay. First of all, what is code in a geometry, right? So we need to know what is code in a geometry. It's a. It's not that. I'm going to tell you the complete background of this, but actually coordinate geometry, what does it mean? What, how it evolved, that is to be known. Till now, till now, we have, I'll take uh, two, three minutes for introduction, right? For this, because you should know this also. Background must be very well known. So coordinate geometry, actually we start learning geometry first, geometry, right? What we call geometry, actually, it is plane geometry, plane, plane geometry, Euclidean, right? Euclidean. Why it is called Euclidean? Because Euclid was the pioneer of this, and we started with this. You already got straight lines, circles, triangles, polygons, right? Many things. So those are coming in the Euclidean geometry of two dimension plane. After that, what we did, we try to mix arithmetic with this, then it becomes coordinate geometry, right? So this is actually coordinate geometry is a mixture of arithmetic with plane geometry and introduction of trigonometry is also there. It's a mixture, right? The geometry plus arithmetic plus trigonometry, right? It, together it makes coordinate geometry. So now you can easily understand that this particular topic really is very, very important for you. Really, very, very important for you. So please keep in mind these particular things. Okay. So now let us see who developed this. Question is that coordinate geometry we are studying, but who developed this? Who has created this particular? One? So actually, uh, mathematics mathematician there was a mathematician rene descartes right rene descartes but actually this we pronounce as rene descartes but the spelling is something like rene descartes right? it's not rene descartes we call him rene descartes so uh, this is this was a mathematician responsible for uh, proposing you the plane right so because of that what coordinate plane we are getting, it is known as Cartesian plane to respect it, Cartesian plane. So we are going to start with that particular part. As you got it in nine, even then I'll start repeating everything so that it will be very, very clear to you. There will be no problem left at all after attending this class. This is my SGM studio. Okay, thank you so much. So let's have a start with this. So what exactly we need to know at the beginning? Right? Supposing that the plane you are observing, the plane in front of you, the white plane, in this plane you are there, then in this plane, we would like to draw two perpendicular lines. We will draw two perpendicular lines. They are intersecting each other. So these are lines, as I told you. Then whenever we will draw these two lines perpendicular to each other, then the whole plane will be divided into four parts. There will be four parts after you draw these two lines. Of course, to start with, to make it formal, one line we consider as horizontal. That is uh, the horizontal line here. We will name it horizontal line. And then another is vertical line. So they meet each other at a point which we call origin. This is known as origin. We call it origin. Then this whole system is known as a Cartesian coordinate system. This horizontal line is named as x-axis. This vertical line is named, named as y-axis. And then we have divided now a referential system. A referential system, why? Because Whenever you need to talk about some positions, you have to refer to a particular place. For example, if somebody asks you about some address, 
अबाउट सम एड्रेस यू कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली से आप ऐसे चले जाओ और आपको घर मिल जाएगा यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू से दिस यू विल डेफिनेटली से सम लैंडमार्क्स दैट लैंडमार्क्स आर द पोजीशंस राइट सो नाउ सपोजिंग दैट यू वांट टू टेल योर एड्रेस यू विल से दैट ओके ये रोड जो देखे हैं आपने यू हैव सीन दिस रोड स्ट्रेट यू गो एंड लेफ्ट साइड 10 हाउसेस यू लीव इलेवेंट हाउस इज माइंड दैट मीन्स यू हैव गिवन सम पोजिशंस राइट यू विल काउंट इलेवन हाउसेज टेन हाउसेस then 11th who will stop and who will enter your house so this way whenever we talk anything any point or its position in a plane the first thing we need to create the address and this is the address referencing system so after that supposing that somebody tells you that there is a point this is a point in the plane so what will happen now i have a option that chalo bhai ab iska हम लोग पोजीशन बोलते हैं तो कैसे करेंगे पोजीशंस दैट यू ट्राई टू सी सो एनीवे आई फर्स्ट ड्रॉ दिस लाइन देन आई कैन शो यू इन एफेक्टिव मैनर सो वंस वी हैव गॉट दिस लाइन तो इसके बाद हम लोग क्या कर सकते हैं दिस पॉइंट आई हैव टू रीच आई हैव टू रीच दिस पॉइंट कैसे कहां से रीच करोगे योर स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट इज दिस तुम्हारा एड्रेस यहां से शुरू होगा देन यू गो लाइक दिस So you have to cover a certain distance along x axis. Remember, there is a convention. This is the convention you have to follow always. You cannot disobey this. Your always the movement. First movement should be along x axis only necessarily. Then only y axis, right? So along the horizontal axis or x axis, supposing that you have moved a distance which is x unit, and then you will reach here, and then. perpendicular to this you will move along y axis obviously as the x axis and y axis are perpendicular your movement will be parallel to y axis here so supposing that you go up by y distance y unit distance so in that case ultimately when you arrive at this point we call this points address as x comma y be very informed quickly informed that the first place must be the distance covered along x axis second place must be the distance covered along y axis then you will be at your destination and once you are at the destination then this coordinate or this position will be denoted by this so this is the coordinate it is the coordinate of point i do apologize for my uh, bad handwriting please try to adjust somehow so this is the coordinate at the point okay uh, sorry for the disturbance some technical error was it okay so now we got the position of the coordinates after that there is very important point we call this as abscissa right or x coordinate of the point then this is known as coordinate or y coordinate actually why i am telling this you all know that but still i am telling because students sometimes miss it out particularly when they are saying what is abscissa they might miss it out so i just put little emphasis here to do this so this is all about the introduction now you can see that any point can be represented here now we come to the convention till now i did not talk about the convention so convention kya hai convention bahut clear hai whenever you make a movement from the origin to the right then we call it positive side of x axis and then if you make a movement in the left side it is a negative x that means if you move two units to the left we call it minus 2 similarly if you go upward it is positive y axis you go downward this is negative y axis so these are the things you should recall you should know right all day you got in class 9 anyway so this is known after that after that the main part is that 
quadrants, right? So anyway, at the top already I have drawn uh, one figure. Now again, I would like to draw the figure with respect to quadrant concepts, right? So now it is quadrants. Whenever you draw both this axis, right? This is x-axis and this is y-axis. Whenever you draw these two axes, then the whole plane is divided into four parts. Then you have to name with this. This is the first quadrant. You have to name this. Top right is the first quadrant. So we name it as first quadrant. Then you have to move anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction matlab, ghadi ka ulta direction mein jaoge. Then you will come to the left top. This is known as the second quadrant. And then you will come down. Then it is the third quadrant. And then this is the fourth quadrant. So you got this quadrant. Fine. Then what will be the sign? Let me quickly go for that. If you move or if you are in the first quadrant, the positions will be what? Found out just by moving right and then up. So both X movement and Y movement or the both, both the movements along X axis and Y axis are positive. So any coordinate in the first quadrant will be having plus or plus character. Similarly, this will be minus plus because minus means you are moving to the left, plus means moving up. For getting into the third quadrant, both should be negative and the last one is positive and negative. So I quickly did because this is known to you. On the top of everything, the very important thing you should recall or you should remember is that points might lie on the axis as well. So if any point will lie here on X axis, maybe positive side or maybe negative side, then you see to arrive at the point from the origin, your movements will be only along X axis. So in that case, any point on X axis will have a coordinate structure, general structure as X comma zero, because there is move, no movement along Y axis only along x-axis. Similarly, if you consider any point on y-axis, there is no movement absolutely along x-axis. That means you will not move anywhere along x-axis. So distance forward is zero. That means FCC is zero. And then y-axis, you will go certain length or certain distance. So it is zero. So this is a very important part, which I am writing here as a small note. Point on x-axis is of the form. I'm just writing like this. I'm not writing any wordings. This is the form. And then point on y-axis, point on y-axis is of the form 0, y. right? This is very, very important to know because we are going to have some questions and then students are getting confused with this particular part. Right? So you should not uh, really confuse with this. Okay. So, okay. Just scroll down. Scroll down. Yes. So this is our preliminary things, which already we know. Now we are going to start with the main part. That is distance between two points. Right. So distance between two points. This is our first part for class 10. Distance between. I have taken little time to explain this. So that you can recall it and you can recall class 10, uh, 9 part also. Distance between two points. Two different points, their distance is needed. Okay. So now I'm going to bring some cases. There will be some cases to be understood. Please hold on. What type of distances or how many types of distances we can get? Just we have to elaborately think about this so that we can be very, very clear once we finish with the class, right? Okay. Just hold on, please. Here is one of the things. Here it is one of the things, right? So you try to understand what is the case here. So in this particular case, you see, uh, this is case number one or option number one, points P, and Q are lying on X axis, but they're in the opposite side, opposite side of 
axis. Anyway, they can be in the same side. So now you try to see if you try to find the distance uh, very clearly, orally, or, or by observing, you can find it. But mathematically, if you want to find your distance, will be x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1. And then there will be modulus sign. Why modulus sign? Because sometimes if you work out in the different directions, you may be getting a negative quantity, right? If you are unable to identify which one is bigger, x1 or x2, in that case, it may be a problem. So that problem will be resolved by putting the modulus sign because distance can never be negative. Now you might be wondering why it is uh, minus x1 because already x1 is negative. Yes, x1 is negative already, but that is embedded with x1, right? So it will be better understood if I talk about two points this way. If x1 and x2 are there, then you can see that this is x1 and this is x, sorry, this is x2 and this is x1. So what is the distance between this? This will be how much? x2 minus x1. So that will be retained. Why? Because if you go to the left side, ultimately negative will make this in between sign a positive one. So you will understand that. So this is about the x-axis. This is about the x-axis. Now, the same thing we can get for y-axis as well. Let us bring that uh, figure. Please hold on for one minute. Okay. So here, the same situation can be obtained for y-axis as well. Just a moment. This is... Sorry, this figure I have to bring. Please hold on. Please hold on. Okay, anyway, this is not an issue. So your figure is here. Okay. So here it is your figure. Now this is the case two, case number two. So in that case, what is going to happen? Your points are on x, y axis. So in the same way, the distance will be what? Y1 minus Y2, right? Normally what we should say, the bigger minus the smaller, that's all. So I'm picking one example, then it will be clear to you. Suppose on X axis, these are two points. Then what is the distance? Then you have to simply find six minus four. That is the distance to units. I did not give the name, just roughly I am giving you the examples. Problem solving me, I have to get it. By chance, if this is like this, how do we do it? How do we do it? 6 is the bigger one of that. So, minus 4 or 6, who is the bigger one? And the right side of the point is 6, 0. So, 6 I will take, then minus, minus 4. That will give you 10 units. So, you can count it in the actual process also. In the very similar way, if somebody tells you that, okay, I have a point 0, 2 and 0, 6, then what is the distance? This will be 6 minus 2 units, that is 4 units. Or if he agar kisi ne bol liya ke, I have this distance, 0, comma, say 6, then what will happen? Bigger minus smaller than 9 units. Ek point to miss ho hai, kaun sa point? Dono hi negative ho to kya ho no problem, dono bhi negative ho sakta hai, jayse 2, 0 and minus 4, 0 suppose. How will you calculate the distance? Idea is same, out of this minus 2 and minus 4, you bring the bigger one. So bigger one is minus 2, right? Because you see, if you talk about minus 2, if origin is there, minus 2 will be here, minus 4 will be here, it means minus 2 is bigger. So difference will be calculated always bigger minus smaller. So minus two minus minus four. Ultimately, this is going to give you two units. That's the thing. Here. Okay. So we are going to have this. Similarly, if I write this as zero comma minus three, zero comma minus four, the distance will be what? Minus three is bigger, then minus four is smaller. So this is going to give you one unit distance. So this is a very important part of this particular coordinate geometry thing. Right, be very, very clear about this particular part. Now we'll be having one more case. Actually, these are not discussed very clearly in um, textbook. 
or maybe sometimes in classes but we have we can have some other options as well right so i'm going to discuss those options as well so that you will never face any problem once you finish with this once you finish with this right so it may be happening it may be happening that your point is three i uh, draw this figure from my side in case three what can happen we have another ways another positions for the points it may be happening that the points are here right points are here and once we join the points say p and q this particular line pq is parallel to x axis then how will you work out the distance actually it is all the same what you did for the distance between two points on x axis exactly same the reason is that in both the places y coordinates will remain same for example i want to take suppose this is uh, 2 3 and this is 4 3 so this distance will be automatically calculated as what this is 2 and this is 4 so difference of 4 and 2 this is the distance between two points so this also must be known to you because sometimes what happens this create a puzzle right one two i have written at the top i can write like this also suppose your points are this x1 comma y and x2 comma y y2 nahi hai ye y hona chahiye sorry just a minute ah, this is y so if both these are equal that is going to indicate that you are going to have points which are in the same line parallel to x axis. So, in that case, the distance will be simply calculated bigger x2 minus small x1. Right? The same cases now can be visualized for y axis as well. So, these are the different cases. Now, this case also let me uh, discuss quickly. I'm taking a little time in the introduction part so that it should be very, very clear. It will not create any problem anymore. If your points are suppose here and here on y axis, uh, sorry, uh, parallel to y axis. So this point, suppose it is 1, 4, and this is suppose 1, minus 1. Then how will you find the distance? It is very clear. This is 4 unit and this is 1 unit distance. So it is 5 total. How will do it? It is 4 minus minus one that is simply the difference between simply the difference between the y coordinates so what we can find here here the x coordinate will remain same so whenever x coordinate is remain same you can consider you can get that the line joining the points will be parallel to y axis so distance will be y2 minus y1 if y2 is bigger if not then y1 minus y2 Anyway, you may not bother this because modulus will always make it positive in the distance. Okay. So, I think till here it is clear. We have till now understood or tried to understand what is the position of a point, what is the sign convention, and then how the position of a point is found out, who propounded coordinate geometry, what is coordinate geometry, and distance between points in coordinate plane in different situations so but the most general one is left out now it is the distance between two points and we are going to show the deduction also of course in exam deduction will not be asked but i'll show you so that it will be clear to you and you will be confident so i'm bringing a figure small figure here so this is the figure why I created the figure? Because figure reference will be easier for you. Now you see. Actually, I have taken two points, P and Q. P has coordinate x1, y1. Q has coordinate x2, y2. I want to find what is the distance PQ. What is it? I want to find this. Fine. So after that, what I did, I completed these pictures. Kya picture kiya mene? P se perpendicular banaya, PM. Q se P, QN banaya. 
फिर जब ये फिगर मिलर ट्रेपेजियम देन पी से आर तक एक और परपेंडिकुलर खींच लिया सो यू कैन सी दैट दीज आर ऑल 90 डिग्री एंगल्स सो दिस पी आर एन एम इज अ रेक्टेंगल राइट एंड द टॉप देयर इज अ राइट एंगल सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड आवर बेसिक्स आफ्टर दैट वी विल ट्राई टू काउंट द और मेजर द लेंग्स ठीक है चलो इफ दिस इज एक्स वन वाई वन यू कैन से दैट दिस मस्ट बी एक्स वन क्यों बिकॉज एक्स वन वाई वन तो पहुंचने के लिए you have to cover a distance x1 along x axis after that this must will be x2 so very clearly you can identify that this distance is x2 minus x1 in the same logic if you do the same thing for y axis by drawing perpendicular like this this part is y1 and this part is y2 so this whole thing is x2 minus sorry y2 minus y1 so in the right triangle in right angle triangle pqr what you got you got pq till now nothing we have to find qr is y2 minus y1 and pr is x2 minus x1 so you all know that in case of right triangle we can apply pythagoras theorem so if i apply the pythagoras theorem then pq square will be equal to it is qr square plus pr square then this is going to give you y2 minus y1 whole square and then x2 minus x1 whole square so now if you remove the square root right if you take the square root not remove the square root if you take the square root obviously you will take the positive square root acha i'll uh, return uh, reverse this because x1 should come alphabetically in the first place and this is the ordered pair matter so x should be written first of course ulta ulta isme likhne se bhi problem nahi hoga but be disciplined so this is what we get by pythagoras theorem is a formula which will help us to find the distance between two points so this is known as distance formula it's a very simple formula but remember it it is a miraculous formula simple but miraculous it can be miracle because with the help of this questions uh, formula we can do many uh, important questions even olympiad level questions can be solved so distance between two points is given by that simply ekdam badhiya se yaad rakho aise main likh sakta hu tumhe dene se you can be very comfortable we can write like this it is a uh, difference difference between abscissa abscissa means x coordinate whole square hoga yahan pe fir yahan pe kya hoga difference of ordinates ordinates whole square yahi tumko yaad rakhna agar ye simply yaad rakhoge to koi bhi problem kaise bhi time mein kar sakte ho right so quickly ek example le leta hu to jaise question number 1 right ek kaam karte hai isko main nahi likhunga main likh aata hu sorry uh, मैं एक लेके आता हूं प्रॉब्लम आई ब्रिंग ए प्रॉब्लम फॉर यू प्लीज होल्ड अप स्मॉल प्रॉब्लम्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग स्मॉल प्रॉब्लम विद यू फर्स्ट लेट अस गो फॉर वार्म अप एंड देन वी विल बी रियली सॉल्विंग मेनी डिफरेंट एंड डिफिकल्ट प्रॉब्लम्स ओके दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम हियर इज द प्रॉब्लम कमिंग टू यू दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ओके सो लेट अस सी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी विल बी डूइंग कुछ भी नहीं है यार कुछ भी नहीं है देर इज यू यू शुड नॉट रियली थिंक अबाउट व्हाट इज एक्स वन व्हाट इज वाई वन कभी मत सोचो ऐसे दिमाग खराब मत करो डायरेक्टली बोलो क्या होगा इसमें डिस्टेंस क्या होगा बाय डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला ऑफ कोर्स ये मेरा फॉर्मल आंसर नहीं है तो मैं स्टेटमेंट नहीं लिख रहा हूँ फॉर्मल आंसर में ये भी बोलूंगा हाउ टू राइट द स्टेटमेंट तो ए बी हाउ विल फाइंड इट कैसे करेंगे यहाँ पे बता दो ना डिफरेंस बिटवीन एफसीसा एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑर्डिनेट एफ सीसा क्या क्या है फोर एंड एट it is really no matter whether you take first four or first eight koi matter nahi hai right but as a part of the discipline if i talk about the point b afterwards so iska coordinate ko pehle le lena to kya hoga 8 minus 4 8 minus 4 whole square and then plus 6 minus 2 whole square that order is to be maintained that discipline you maintain agar tum bologe nahi sir 8 माइनस फोर एक बार लिखेंगे और यहाँ पे टू माइनस सिक्स लिखेंगे कोई बात नहीं आंसर सही रहेगा बट यू शुड नॉट डू दैट 
सो वंस यू गेट दिस वॉट यू विल गेट एट माइनस फोर फोर होगा फोर का स्क्वायर सिक्सटीन एंड सिक्स माइनस टू इसका भी फोर होगा सिक्सटीन आया तो डेट मीन्स इट इज अंडर द रूट थर्टी टू थर्टी टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर रूट टू यूनिट सो यूनिट लिखना मत बोलो दिस इज द यूनिट डिस्टेंस सो वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दीज टू पॉइंट इट इज फोर रूट टू यूनिट सो दिस इज ए small warm up question just to know that this way we can calculate it we'll come to many points many questions now let me go for one particular case if i find i ask you distance of a point from origin kyunki origin se bhi tumhe distance puch sakta hai to isko kaise nikale bahut badhiya in the above case one point you make it 0 0 That's fine, but even then, supposing that you do not want to make it one point, uh, say zero zero, so you can directly and independently do this. Just say a point, say x y. Now, as you know, यहाँ तक reach करने के लिए ऐसे होगा तुम्हारा x और ये distance y होगा, and then just you draw this. यही चाहिए ना origin से distance. तो तुम्हें तो पहले तो सिरम दिख ही गया. ये तो और भी easy. So कैसे होगा? O P square equal to अगर इसका नाम दे देते हैं क्यू सो इट इज ओ क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस पी क्यू स्क्वायर सो ओ क्यू का वैल्यू कितना हुआ एक्स स्क्वायर पी क्यू का वाई स्क्वायर सो डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ओरिजिन इज सिंपली गिवन बाय व्हाट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ द एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर दैट इज स्क्वायर ऑफ द एफ सी प्लस स्क्वायर ऑफ द ऑर्डिनेट इसी का स्क्वायर रूट होता है डिस्टेंस of the point from the origin so this is to be always remember this is to be always remember so ye bahut hi chhota sa question hai bahut hi mamooli sa question hai but still kabhi kabhi kya hota hai exam situations mein ye question bhi hame problem de sakta hai okay so as a part of the what i can say if i find uh, if i ask you to find the distance find the distance between So A, say four minus seven, and origin. Origin or is the distance? Take out. What will you do? Nothing. You have to write OA. And directly, you have to talk about the square of this. That is sixteen. Directly, you have to talk about the square of this. Forty-nine. And then, what is what is the result that you write? Forty-nine. How much will be? Yeah, five, six. 65 square sorry it is unit not square units units so 65 root over 65 units is the distance of the point from the origin so this is what till now we have plan so mai ek bar abhi quickly sum up karna chahta hu i am going to sum up with this particular thing thoda sa sum up kar lete hain uske baad hum log extra problem ke liye chalte hain so scroll scroll kar rahe hai is for yes तो हमने क्या क्या पढ़े अभी वट वी हैव फाउंड थोड़ा सा सम अप कर देते हैं इफ द पॉइंट्स आर लाइक दिस एक्स वन वाई एक्स टू वाई मीनिंग इज दैट पॉइंट टू बी आइडर ऑन एक्स एक्सिस अगर जीरो जीरो होगा वाई या फिर पैरेलल टू एक्स एक्सिस तो दोनों का डिस्टेंस क्या होता है एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन मॉडलस राइट आई कैन राइट लाइक दिस देन इट विल बेटर फॉर रेफरेंस सो पी क्यू होगा कितना अगर हम लोगों को पॉइंट मिलता है एक्स एक्सिस में नहीं सॉरी वाई एक्सिस में या फिर पेरेल टू वाई एक्सिस में तो एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट सेम रहेगा रिमेंबर इट देन पी क्यू डिस्टेंस विल बी फाउंड आउट बाई वाई टू माइनस वाई वन देन इफ आई हैव टू डिफरेंट पॉइंट एक्स वन वाई वन एक्स टू वाई टू then pq will be found out simply by taking the square of the differences of abscissa and ordinate right order is not a matter here but whatever order you apply for one of them apply the second for same for the second and then last what we got agar ek hi point hai aur dusra point origin aa gaya to what will be the distance op will be x square plus y square So, ये चार पॉइंट अभी हम लोगों ने सीखे और इसी के ऊपर तुम देखोगे कितना बढ़िया बढ़िया 
ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चंस लाइक सॉल्व इसका पावर हम लोगों को अभी पता नहीं हो रहा है बट डेफिनेटली इट हैज रियली गुड प्रॉब्लम्स राइट सो आई एम गिविंग जस्ट 15 20 सेकंड्स फॉर यू प्लीज सी व्हाट एवर यू हैव रिटन डेफिनेटली और यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो एंड देन यू कैन रीड एंड देन यू कम बैक ठीक है तो बाय दैट टाइम आई एम ब्रिंगिंग सम क्वेश्चंस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफ कोर्स इजी क्वेश्चंस हम लोग लेंगे इजी क्वेश्चंस वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इजी क्वेश्चंस बहुत ही इजी क्वेश्चन लेंगे बुक का भी है क्वेश्चन वी हैव द क्वेश्चन इन द बुक आई कैन ब्रिंग सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द बुक ऑल्सो सो डेट यू कैन सी के इस टाइप का क्वेश्चन हमें बुक से करना चाहिए we have these questions in the book exercise 7.1 directly isme se ek ya do question mein karta hu there is a small disturbance Okay. Anyway, that is not that is not a problem. Okay, this is our question. This is our question from the book. It is a question from the book. So, how we do this? Find the distance between the following points. So, is me. ये negative वाला ले लेते हैं. Number one तो कर ही सकते हो. ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू राइट द स्टेटमेंट्स एक प्रॉब्लम तो स्टेटमेंट का बनता है तो क्या लिखोगे नंबर टू के लिए गिवन पॉइंट्स आर पॉइंट्स आर ए यू गिव एन नेम फ्रॉम योर साइड दिस एंड बी इज माइनस वन कोमा थ्री नाम दे दिया देयर फोर बाई डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला बाई डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला You need not write the distance between A and B is. You write simply A B, and then here you write. So you directly write now the values. पहले क्या होगा x two minus x one मतलब this minus this. Literally you can write this line in the question paper. There is no harm. Minus one. यहाँ से देखो. Minus का मामला है. Minus one, then minus minus five. बहुत लोग इसमें गलती करते हैं. Please try to see that. The next one. सी मैं पहले ही ब्रेकेट दे दिया हूँ बहुत लोग वो ब्रेकेट देना भी भूल जाते हैं लाइक फॉर द डेट सो पहले ब्रेकेट को दे के रखो देन यू विल नेवर कमिट मिस्टेक्स सो देन थ्री माइनस सेवन होल स्क्वायर व्हाट इट विल बी देन माइनस वन माइनस फाइव माइनस माइनस फाइव हाउ मच इट विल बी दिस विल बी माइनस वन प्लस फाइव तो अल्टीमेटली इट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू फोर द फोर स्क्वायर मीन सिक्सटीन And three minus seven uh, will give you minus four. Minus four का square भी sixteen ही होगा. So ये thirty two हो गया. So this will be four root two units. Four root two. So you got this, right? So now let me go quickly with the next one. Next one is actually uh, confusing for the students. Confusion क्यों होता है? That too I cannot say. I did not understand. But it is uh, very important that you do this. तो हम लोगों ने पॉइंट्स का मार्क क्या कर दिया ए बी बना दिया अभी देखो स्टेटमेंट में पहले ऊपर का प्रॉब्लम में लिख चुका हूं इसमें और मैं स्टेटमेंट नहीं लिखूंगा सो यू राइट द स्टेटमेंट योर सेल्फ तो इसमें क्या होगा ए बी सो आइडिया रिमेन द सेम इसमें कोई डिफरेंस नहीं होगा वेदर ए बी सी रहे या फिर और कुछ रहे राइट सो इट विल बी क्या होगा दिस माइनस दिस दैट इज माइनस ए माइनस ए होल स्क्वायर देन दिस माइनस दिस Minus p, minus p whole square. So how much you will be getting here? It is. It will be minus a minus a. It will be minus twice a whole square. Minus twice a whole square. मतलब 
4 a square then minus twice b whole square means 4 b square so from both of them 4 i can take common then it is a square b square then square root of 4 will be 2 and then inside this a square plus b square will be there so this many units now you see there is a very small common mistakes silly mistakes of course in the basics only is weight So, kya common mistake karte hai? So, so dekh lo. Normally, iske baad students lo click deta hai. They write it two times a plus b. Or bola jata hai ke sir hamne square root le liya. We have taken the square root. But be very assured, s square root aega hi nahi. There is no square root of this kind. So square root usi ka liya jata hai jo perfect square root. Ye perfect square yahan pe nahi hai. And there is no such uh, properties as well. Right, they always confuse with this thing. So be very, very alert. Asa pattern may kabhi bhi a plus b pan ke square root nahi aega. Right, so do not go for mistakes. Do not commit that mistakes. So ye ho gaya humara ek problem jo distance formula se hum log bahut hi aaram se solve kar sakte hain. Now coming on to some other problems. Coming on to some other problems. Okay. Today I am a little slow. Actually, let me go for slow movements only first. Because directly, Iggy didn't miss her, she's me carrying a look. Okay. Sorry, question, please. Yeah, it is better. So, this is another question. So, this question they are asking find the distance between the points A and this B. So, kya hoga is by distance formula directly karo. ये एक्चुअली मुझे करके देने का जरूरत ही नहीं है ये लास्ट प्रॉब्लम है इस टाइप का डिस्टेंस निकालने का होल स्क्वायर एंड देन 9 minus 13 होल स्क्वायर तो फिर क्या होगा इस पर यू विल बी गेटिंग 10 minus 7 3 3 होल स्क्वायर मतलब दिस 9 9 minus 13 minus 4 होगा minus 4 का स्क्वायर मतलब 16 सो so, दोनों मिलके 25 हो गया तो ये ठीक चल हो गए अच्छा और एक बढ़िया क्वेश्चन मेरे दिमाग में आया है अभी सो जस्ट आई विल ब्रिंग दैट क्वेश्चन टू यू बहुत ही बढ़िया क्वेश्चन मैं लिख के देता हूं तुरंत दिमाग में आया है क्या क्वेश्चन है देखो एक बहुत बढ़िया क्वेश्चन है फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट्स Find the distance between the points A, suppose it is 0, minus 4 sin theta, and B, this, uh, sorry, 4 cos theta. So you have to find the distance between these two points. So, same, no difference, but students are not here. अरे यहाँ पे तो trigonometry है, लेकिन trigonometry है तो क्या हुआ? पहले apply तो करो, so इसके बाद क्या होगा? A B. I just want to stick to the previous fact what we have understood. उसके बाद देखेंगे क्या होगा, right? लड़ने से पहले हरना नहीं है, तो हमें क्या करना है x two minus x one, ठीक है भाई? Zero किसी से subtract होगा तो क्या होगा? वही भी रहेगा, है, so it will be four cos theta whole square, and then plus this minus this. It will be ultimately 0 minus minus this thing will be 4 sin theta whole square. Now let us try to complete this. 4 square carrying it to 69. This is cos square theta. You have 69. This is sin square theta. From both of them, 16 will be taken out as a common thing. And square root line is 4. Or the under kya bachega deko hai. It is cos square plus sin square theta. That makes it how much? 1. That will be the value. So, 4. So, 4 units is the distance between these two points. So, this This also should be understood. If you look at this, you can see that there is a 
नहीं चाहिए यू शुड नॉट बी अफ्रेड ऑफ दिस ठीक है सो नाउ अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू ब्रिंग सम क्वेश्चन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज द टेस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन थोड़ा अलग अलग टाइप का क्वेश्चन लाएंगे हम लोग एंड देन उसके बाद हम लोग पता चलेगा कि डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला इज फॉर फूड ओके सो एक क्वेश्चन ला रहे in between as a even if i have written that i'll do previous year questions at the last but which which mein mai karta rahunga right jaise ye ek question hai ye question aaya tha i tell you when it is set it is in 2020 it is set in 2020 so this question is important question find a point on x axis Equidistant. Equidistant means distances are equal. Equal distances from the points. Listen this. So, we have to first what exactly we have to do. We'll draw a rough figure, a picture, make a photo, make a photo. So, in this photo, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. Meaning, roughly, we will try to make a rough depiction. I'll be using some words which may not be directly related to maths. तो वह समझेदार करने के लिए. Okay, minus one zero, minus one zero कहीं इधर होगा, right? कहीं इधर होगा. You need not exactly measure it, बस थोड़ा सा idea लगा के point बना रहा हूँ. यहाँ पे कहीं हो सकता है. और five zero, five zero कहाँ होगा? यहाँ पे होगा. B, right? तो इसमें क्या बोला है? Any point equidistant. राइट right? इसमें इक्वल डिस्टेंस में पॉइंट होना चाहिए कहां पे एक्स एक्सिस में होना चाहिए तुम्हारा इक्वल डिस्टेंस पॉइंट्स कितना होना चाहिए एक्स कोमा जीरो टाइप का होना चाहिए एक्स कोमा जीरो टाइप का होना चाहिए तो इक्वल डिस्टेंस होने का मतलब क्या है ए पी मस्ट बी इक्वल टू बी पी ए पी मस्ट बी इक्वल टू बी पी सी यू हैव वेरियस वेज टू डू दिस यहां पे तो पिक्चर फोटो देख के ही पता चलता है तो देखिए वन मार्क का क्वेश्चन है बट मैं पूरा प्रोसेस में जाता हूं सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसेस तो प्रोसेस में क्या करूंगा मैं व्हाट विल डू आई डू लाइक दिस लेट पी एक्स कोमा जीरो बी द पॉइंट राइट ऑन एक्स एक्सिस सच दैट सच दैट क्या होगा ए पी इक्वल टू बी राइट ए पी इक्वल टू बी पी अच्छा बहुत बढ़िया अच्छा इसमें क्या समझ में आया आपको वॉट हैव यू अंडरस्टूड आपको तो ये समझ में जरूर आ गया है कि इसमें जो है इसमें पॉइंट्स आर ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस और एक्स एक्सिस में होने से पॉइंट्स को हम लोग डिस्टेंस कैसे निकालते थे हाउ डिड यू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस पहली बात तो है मोडुलस निकालते थे मोडुलस तब निकालना चाहिए जब आपको कौन सा बड़ा कौन सा छोटा ये समझ में नहीं आया राइट बट एनी वे पे भी मोडुलस हम लोग निकाल लेंगे ठीक है तो ये होगा डिस्टेंस किसका किसका डिस्टेंस ए पी का डिस्टेंस मतलब पॉइंट ए एंड पॉइंट पी का डिस्टेंस सो हम लोग लिख देते हैं एक्स माइनस माइनस वन मॉडलस और यहां पे क्या लिखेंगे हमें दिख रहा है क्लियरली इसलिए मैं फाइव माइनस एक्स लिख रहा हूं राइट right? लेकिन मॉडुलस अगर डाल दोगे तो तुम्हारा एक रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी भी बनेगा क्या बनेगा वो भी मैं बोल रहा हूँ आई एम टेलिंग यू पहले लिख लेता हूँ इसमें एक नया चीज भी सीखने को मिलेगा तुम्हें तो यह होगा Now, if you want, you have two options to solve it. One is that you can square it so that the modulus can be removed. One option is. The second option is that modulus written as plus or minus both values calculate them. Like, for example, if somebody tells you modulus of this equal to four, so two ways can be done. One is equal to four, and the other is equal to minus four. Which one will be done? I don't know. Both can be done. तो इधर भी अगर मैं बिना स्क्वेरिंग का चलता हूं सो आई कैन से दिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस एक्स भी हो सकता है और द अदर केसेस एक्स माइनस वन कैन बी माइनस ऑफ फाइव माइनस एक्स भी हो सकता है तो दोनों को सॉल्व करके देखो जिससे जो सॉल्यूशन आएगा दैट इज एक्सेप्टेबल दैट यू हैव टू टेक सो यहाँ देखो ये एक्स को इस साइड में लाएंगे तो ट्वाइस एक्स होगा एंड दिस इज फोर सो एक्स इक्वल टू टू ये एक वैल्यू मिल गया Till the other value is obtained, you do not discard this value. Or in this, what will happen if you solve this? If you break this, both sides will be cut, and then you will be getting this. What will I get? 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 What will
एब्सर्ड है एब्सर्ड का मतलब कुछ ऐसा चीज जो काम का नहीं है या फिर थोड़ा सा अलग किस्म का है जो एक्सेप्टेबल नहीं है तो फिर हम लोग क्या करेंगे मेरा ये एक्सेप्टेबल नहीं है देर फोर रिकॉर्ड पॉइंट इज रिकॉर्ड पॉइंट इज क्या होगा पी राइट तो थोड़ा सा मैं टाइम लेके एक्सप्लेन कर रहा हूँ Uh, अगर किसी कारण बोर हो रहा हो आई रियली वी वेरी सॉरी बट स्टिल यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस थोड़ा सा फंडामेंटल्स में कर रहे हैं बिकॉज ये फंडामेंटल क्लियर हो जाएगा तो और कुछ नहीं चाहिए तुम लोगों को प्रॉब्लम्स अपने से कर सकते हो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो ऑन फंडामेंटल बहुत ही फंडामेंटल में है ये भी एंड देन दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो कैन बी डन बाई यू योर ये वाला क्वेश्चन देखो ये भी बोर्ड में आने वाला क्वेश्चन ही है अगेन इसमें भी क्या करेंगे हम लोग जस्ट विल ड्रॉ द फिगर एंड देन फिगर में ही से निकालेंगे इसको बिकॉज अच्छा रिफ्लेक्शंस का बात तुम लोगों को पता ही होगा रिफ्लेक्शंस इज ए नॉर्मल फिनमिन वन इट इज प्लेन मिरर राइट तो हम लोग देखते हैं क्या देते हैं पहले एक फिगर बना लेते हैं सो डेट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड आफ्टर डेट हम देखेंगे कि क्या क्या करना है फाइंड द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द पॉइंट Which is reflection point of this on x-axis? तो x-axis में reflection होना है कहने का मतलब है x-axis को हम लोग एक प्लेन मिरर जैसा बनेंगे मानेंगे या फिर बोल सकते हो कि x-axis में एक प्लेन मिरर रख देते हैं देने के बाद ये पॉइंट लिखोगे माइनस थ्री फाइव माइनस थ्री लेफ्ट साइड में चलोगे फाइव ऊपर चलोगे माइनस थ्री फाइव ये हो गया हमारा पॉइंट माइनस थ्री फाइव ठीक है तो हमें पूछा गया है व्हाट इज द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑन एक्स एक्सिस अगर एक्स एक्सिस में इसको रिफ्लेक्ट कराया दिया जाए तो इसका पॉइंट रिफ्लेक्शन कहा मिलेगा राइट right? तो कहा मिलेगा ऑब्वियसली तुम्हें पता है यू ऑल नो दैट वेन एवर प्लेन मिरर रिफ्लेक्ट करता है हमेशा वर्चुअल होता है मतलब मिरर का पीछे चला जाएगा इमेज और डिस्टेंस ऑफ द इमेज एंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इमेज से तो इसका मतलब यहाँ खड़ा होके तुमको पूरा सीधा चलना है सॉरी तो गलत हो गया यहां से एकदम सीधा चलना है यहां तक एकदम सीधा दैट मीन दिस इज पर्पेंडिकुलर और यहां रुक जाना है कब रुक जाना है जब ये दोनों डिस्टेंस इक्वल हो राइट अच्छा तुमने क्या कोई मूवमेंट किया एक्स एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस एक्स एक्सिस में नहीं किया इसका मतलब जब इमेज आएगा एक्स एक्सिस का कोई मूवमेंट नहीं मतलब एक्स एक्सिस से अब मूवमेंट्स किसमें हुआ है वाई में तो कितना मूवमेंट हुआ है अगर तुम यहाँ पे एक्स एक्सिस के ऊपर फाइव यूनिट रहे थे एस पर द इमेज रूल ऑफ द इमेज प्रोड्यूस बाय प्लेन मिरर तुम्हें फाइव यूनिट नीचे भी जाना पड़ेगा सेम डिस्टेंस तो यहाँ पे कोऑर्डिनेट कितना होगा माइनस थ्री को सो दिस इज द इमेज ऑफ दिस पॉइंट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्सएक्सिस का नाम हमने पी डी एस लगा दिया कुछ स्टैंडर्ड नाम नहीं है तुम क्यों भी लगा सकते हो इज नो प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द अनदर क्वेश्चन सो नाउ टूडे आई बी टेकिंग वन मोर क्वेश्चन एंड आई बाइंड अपन टूडे बिकॉज आई विल नॉट टेक इट मोर देन वन आवर इट मे बी बोरिंग टूवर्ड्स ओके येस आई हैव सीन ए वेरी गुड प्रॉब्लम राइट बहुत ही बढ़िया प्रॉब्लम देखा हूँ सो ये प्रॉब्लम में लाता हूँ ये भी प्रॉब्लम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी में आया है ठीक है, सो ऑलरेडी सम क्वेश्चंस आई एम सॉल्विंग ओनली व्हिच आर सेट इन द बोर्ड एग्जाम जस्ट अमाउंट यहां होना चाहिए आई एम नॉट दैट मच टेक्नो से भी तो थोड़ा थोड़ा मिस्टेक्स होता रहेगा प्लीज ट्राई टू एडजस्ट विद दैट ओके बहुत बढ़िया क्वेश्चन है फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस टू पॉइंट्स ये दोनों पॉइंट्स का डिस्टेंस निकालो राइट यू हैव टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ठीक है चलो बहुत बढ़िया है निकाल लेते हैं क्या प्रॉब्लम है तो दिमाग से देखो बस ये x है x1 ये y1 ये x2 ये पूरा y2 बस कुछ कुछ बोला नहीं है थोड़ा स्टेटमेंट लिख देते हैं अभी गिवन पॉइंट्स आर गिवन पॉइंट्स आर एक का नाम a दे देते हैं दैट दिस इज a cos थीटा प्लस b sin थीटा 0 and then the other point i name it as a sin theta minus b cos theta please again bear with my handwriting my handwriting is not very acceptable 
is observed. Therefore, by distance formula, distance formula, kya milega? Hume distance between A and B is needed. But they hope, chahi kitna bada x axis, y axis ka code, x coordinate ya y coordinate kyu na ho, hum apna jo original formula hai, usse nahi hatenge. Hatna nahi hai, ohi formula hai. So x2 minus x1, this minus this entire quantity. So kya hoga sare quantities ka jo aage ka sign hai, wo minus ho jayega. Right? To ye hoga 0 minus me 0 ko, achha likke dikha dita hoon, so that confusion will be less, right? नहीं तो कंफ्यूजन हो भी सकता है देखो एक इनवाइट करोगे स्टाइल मैं एक स्टाइल में लिख रहा हूं क्या स्टाइल में लिख रहा हूं देखो ध्यान से देखो मैं पहले ही ब्रैकेट बना के स्क्वायर दे रहा हूं सो so दैट मैं ये ना भूलूं कि स्क्वायर मुझे देना है नहीं तो क्योंकि मैं ये ऑब्जर्व किया हूं बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स ब्रैकेट देना भूल जाते हैं बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स स्क्वायर देना भूल जाते हैं तो पहले इसको ब्लॉक करके रखो अब अंदर क्या लिखना है आप आराम से लिखो कोई गलती नहीं होगी तो 0 minus फिर देखो जीरो माइनस बहुत लोग बहुत स्टूडेंट्स कैसे लिख देंगे मालूम है दे विल राइट इट लाइक दिस जीरो माइनस दिस बहुत लोग ऐसे लिख देंगे नहीं गलत है क्योंकि तुमने माइनस पूरे क्वांटिटी को किया है तो फिर ऐसे बैठे देना पड़ेगा बिकॉज़ दिस माइनस इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द होल कोऑर्डिनेट ये हो गया फिर नेक्स्ट में क्या होगा दिस माइनस दिस तो इसमें भी हम लोग ब्रैकेट दे ही देते हैं ब्रैकेट देने का कोई गलत आदत नहीं है ये ब्रैकेट जितना फुटफुली यूज करोगे उतना अच्छा है दिस माइनस जीरो अब हम लोग इसको वर्कआउट करते हैं ठीक है अच्छा जीरो से किसी चीज को माइनस करोगे तो क्या फर्क पड़ेगा ज्यादा कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा बस साइन ही बदल जाएगा अच्छा ऊपर से तो स्क्वायर है स्क्वायर होने से साइन का भी कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है कहने का मतलब है यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द स्क्वायर ऑफ डिस्टेंस एंड यहां पे क्या होगा फिर इट इज a sin थीटा minus b cos theta whole square so you have seen a square sorry a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square right agar agar tum yaad karte ho ek identity to tumhe isko expand karne ka zarurat bilkul hi nahi hai aur nahi hai isme ye same nahi hai a plus b whole square a minus b whole square nahi hai unhe se hum directly likh dete actually just to break the confusion i am telling you I am talking about this. If you find a pattern, complete pattern as this, so your answer can be directly written as 2 whole into a square plus b square, but it is not in that form. So we have to expand this. There is no out. So kya karoge? Ye hoga a square cos square theta, then twice a b cos theta sin theta, and then this will give you b square sin square theta b square sin square theta and then this i have to expand this how will expand it is a square sin square theta a square okay and then twice every term will come so minus size may minus a minus b whole square the expression over so 2 a b sin theta into cos theta and at last niche lick the amount to jaga nahi जगह बना सकते हैं लेकिन बनाना नहीं चाहता हूं ओके ये हो गया अब देखो बिफोर यू प्रोसीड फर्दर यहां पे कुछ कुछ कैंसिलेशन हो जाता है वो कर दो तुम ये पूरा क्वांटिटी पॉजिटिव है और ये पूरा क्वांटिटी इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट नेगेटिव है तो कट जाएगा राइट है ना तो फिर क्या रहेगा अभी क्या रहेगा वो भी देखना है यहां इसमें a स्क्वायर है और इसमें भी a स्क्वायर है दोनों में से a स्क्वायर को कॉमन ले लेते हैं क्या बचेगा पहले में से बचेगा cos square theta और second term में बचेगा sin square theta ठीक है चलो हो गया फिर इस वाले term में b square है इस वाले term में भी b square है तो तुमने b square को common लिया this is yeah now what will happen you can see the result very well you can see the result तो यहाँ पे दोनों में से क्या होगा ये वाले quantity one हो जाएगा ना this is one and this is also one ये मैं बैठा के नहीं दिखाऊंगा so ultimately your answer will be what a square plus b square under the root so this is a very big question it came in 2020 it came in 2020 right 2020 it came in 2020 the question that came in the Kola board they all were there in 2020 only so I will leave here right and dear students 
I'll be sharing these class notes. Every day I'll be sharing with the YouTube uh, video. It for a time lag sakta hai. So isme me kuch problems bhi chhod dunga. So you will try to do these problems. Definitely this will help you to like practice. Okay. Okay. Then uh, see you afterwards again on the next day. I'll send you. It will be uploaded in the YouTube videos. And I request you, please go through this. Definitely you will not be at lost. Okay. Bye-bye and have a good night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.